Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a really nice tool you can use in order to allow your customers, your prospects, your team members schedule meetings with you really easily, right? The goal of this tool is to cut down on the emailing, you know, sending emails back and forth, trying to find the best time, you know, trying to find the best platform to have the meeting on, all those things. This platform just gets rid of all that um, and it's called Calendly.com. This is the website. I'm going to put a link for it in the description. And what it allow allows you to do, guys, is create different events, right? So as you can see here, I have three different types of events. I have 15 minute, uh, a 15 minute meeting, a 30 minute meeting and a 60 minute meeting. And the idea is uh, it creates a public page for me, which I can share with anyone. And then when I, when someone goes in, and once you schedule a 15 minute meeting, they can select um, the date they want to have the meeting on and then the available times that I set, you know, I select which times I'm available. They choose their time, they confirm it and then they uh, enter the details and schedule the event. Right. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new event here as an example. Uh, this is going to be a one on one. You can even create the group meetings. And I'm going to call this, um, hmm, let's see, let's do a progress meeting. So maybe you have a client and you want to track their progress, um, progress meeting, maybe it's like a consultation client and you want to see where they're at. Uh, we can create a progress meeting here and I'm going to come back to the location later. Uh, you can just type in your description. This is a meeting that any of my consultation consultation clients just an example anyway so then uh, event link um, this is the um, you can basically have a link to a specific event so I created a specific event here and I can have a, li a, a, a link to this specific event right so if you don't want to send your your um, if you don't want to send people to this page right here with all the meetings you can just have um, a link to this specific meeting, right? Um, then let's go to next. Then you select the event duration. So you can um, you can just have 30 minutes, for example, and then events can be scheduled over 60 rolling days. So what that means is uh, they can be scheduled. This is where you can set a date range for your availability. You can choose uh, between a rolling number of days in the future. So basically, um, if you say that you're available every day from nine to five, you can say that this is going to be valid for the next 60 days, right? So um, customers can book a meeting that's 60 days away from, for example, right? Um, and you can also do a date range, right? Or you can do it indefinitely, uh, which is going to be forever, basically. Um, then the, the cool thing about Calendly is that on the page where the um, person schedules the meeting, the time zone gets updated automatically, right? So all the times that you have available are going to be updated automatically based on their time zone, right? The time zone is going to be detected automatically. If it's not detected automatically, they, just, they can just go in here and select their time zone. So that's a really, really nice feature there uh, because you won't have to like... Um, find what the time is in their time zone and so on. Then here you have to enter in your availability. So I can say here that I'm available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every single day. Or I can go in and edit this and say that today I'm also going to be available between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Right. Um, and I can apply this only for today or I can apply this to every single Tuesday or I can even apply this to every single day or maybe Sundays and Mondays. Um, I'll do Sunday and Saturday apply. So as you can see here, it now has added that um, interval 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every single Saturday and every single Sunday, right? So that's how that's how you go in and edit your calendar and show your available times, right? Uh, that's really cool. Um, these are just some other settings that you can add. And then you can even make this a secret event. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and then you can even have some questions, right? So once you're um, 
your uh, the person schedules a meeting with you, you can ask them some questions such as their name, their email. You know, these are very important questions. You know, if you want to uh, send them an email, um, and then you can say, you can add a question like, um, "Where are you currently at?" with the project or whatever you know so you can um, ask some questions this is really powerful especially when you're working with prospects so people who are interested in working with you but just still don't know anything about them so you can have a bunch of questions in order to qualify them before jumping on a meeting with them right so um, you can ask questions and then you can even ask what platform they would like to have the meeting on whether they like zoom or they like skype and so on and then you can have some notifications you know so uh, email reminders you know email follow-ups text reminders uh, so many different um uh, re uh notifications you can have and then you can even personalize the notifications right so that's really powerful as well and then finally the confirmation page is where you send the customer um, after they sign uh, after they sign up for the event, right? So you can redirect them to your website, right? Or you can just show them the default Calendly page. Um, also, with Calendly, you can collect payments. So if you want to have paid meetings, you know, where you charge a fee, you can connect your Stripe account, you can connect your PayPal account. I believe this is a paid feature, uh, so you have to upgrade. But yeah, that's possible. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is, let's go back to what this event is. I want to show you this feature right here, the location. And this is something really, really cool. What you can do is, you can select Zoom. And what this is going to do, when an, uh, when an event is scheduled, it will automatically generate a Zoom event for you, like a Zoom meeting. You can also do this with Google Hangouts and so on right but this is really cool so what you do you select zoom and then you connect your zoom account so you go to the integrations page and then you connect your zoom account for those of you guys who don't know what zoom is it's basically a video um conferencing a conferencing platform like skype right so uh really nice and easy to to use and then um let's see uh set up uh zoom as the location so it has uh, integrated Zoom with my Calendly account. Uh, the first time you do it, it's actually gonna ask you for your uh, login details for Zoom and so on. But now it, it, it has worked for me because I already did this before. So I'm just gonna click on the event again and I'm gonna go to location here and select Zoom. Let's save this now and let's see what happens when we, uh, let's go to the, the view live page so this is the page where we schedule the event um, let's go to April I want to schedule an event on the second let's do 12 p.m. confirm name I'm gonna find a temporary email here there we go uh, where you currently are with the projects um, just just getting started need some guidance schedule event there we go now if we go to the email uh, okay Dimitris and tutorial email uh, so that that was that's the name of my email and then right here guys we have the zoom link right so this is our email uh, this is all the information and then here is the zoom link so when we click on this it should actually take us to zoom open zoom and here's the meeting right is that easy guys so you don't have to send any links any uh, meet uh, any um, meeting links everything is just done automatically with Calendly 
So this is it for this video, guys. I really hope this is going to make you more productive, more organized and help you save some time. Now, if you're a business owner, if you are working online and you're constantly looking for tools to improve your workflows, make you more efficient, you know, I'm going to put a few links in the description to other videos that are recorded similar to this one, which I believe are really going to help you out. So make sure to check those. Um, please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one, more tutorial tutorials, more projects that I have coming out soon. And of course, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any suggestions, you know, I read all the comments. So uh, make sure to do that. And yeah, guys, without being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you on the next video.